After the mechanical failure in the last video, I had to fix this and bring it back on the table so it could redeem itself. This is the ditch witch. If you are unfamiliar with this, this is an 1897 Winchester. Now, it's in trench gun configuration. All the parts are legitimate. There's no like remanufactured parts or anything like that, but the parts shouldn't be together. Like the serial numbers don't work. It's mis missing cartouches. Yes, it's very possible this was a World War II donation gun that was converted to a trench gun, because they did that. Or maybe a police station might have converted it to a trench gun. Or it's even got an old enough serial number where it may have been a prototype. That's all possibilities. To me, I just take it as this was a clone that someone had made, but they used all legitimate parts. Either which way, without a doubt, this is one of my favorite shotguns. I just love... The feel of it, how it is, how all the parts have massive age on it. I got the heat shield fixed. Last time, well, the first time I had fixed this, I did plug weld, welds on it because I didn't know that these were riveted on. If I'd have known that, I would have just re-riveted it. But because these screws are so old and they barely held together, when I finally got this thing clamped on, I just poured an ass ton of Loctite in there so this can never come off again. Not without some serious effort. Which is okay. I should never have to take this apart. I mean, this thing is old and got so many, probably a five or six digit round count through it. The odds that I can shoot enough rounds through this in my lifetime to make it fail, it really don't matter. Anyway, I did plug welds on here, but I was using this crappy Harbor Freight Welder. And on the low speed, it wasn't high hot enough to melt the wire and on the high speed it was too hot and I couldn't get enough wire speed to do a clean weld. That welder winded up cooking, got a new welder, the plug welds are de decent. This one I really dicked up though because I didn't know the welder yet first time I ever used it and it took me a little bit to figure it out but after that it worked okay. I just covered it in paint when I was done. Yeah it doesn't look the best but once this gets some wear on it and a lot of this paint gets removed, it'll look a lot better. But I just wanted to take it out and have some fun with it because, you know, after the last time, it wasn't that much fun. So let's take a look at some of my shooting footage. So I like to practice different things. Now, I don't want to hear about 10 feet from a barricade or anything like that because this would never leave the house. If I were to ever leave the house in any sort of combat situation, I would immediately switch to a rifle. This is just a house gun. Like I said in the other video, the only reason it even has a sling is in case I get hungry or something and I need to make a sandwich in the middle of a home defense situation, I can sling it up, use my hands, and I can pull it back out and go to work. That's all this will ever be, is just a house gun and a range toy. Now, these caddies, they're pretty awesome. Let's check out some of my simulated slug changeovers.
as you can see, my slug changeovers, well, my simulated slug changeovers, I was kind of having a little bit of trouble getting it to come out of the receiver. Maybe you could go in there and smooth it out, but honestly, I have that kind of trouble with all shotguns. But it worked out really good, because I'd flip it out, come down, grab my shotgun shell, put it in, and go into action. And these caddies are awesome. Like you've seen in the video, works great for slug changeovers and top-offs. Now, ideally, you'd want to get a rig where it sets up two of them, so you're coming in like this, and it's just a straight shot. But with this shotgun, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have a load gate. Even just pulling two shells like this, I can just drop one on the carrier and go in. Here, let me put the rest of these in my pocket. Shake my pocket so I don't know the orientation. Grab two of them. They just so happen to be orientated, right? Here, let me try again so it messes up the orientation so I get a backwards one. Okay, we got a backwards one this time. Come up, notice what direction it's in. I can put it on and go in. And that's why I'm a very strong advocate for shotguns without a load gate because it simplifies the process. Let's say I'm doing a top off and I'm doing a twin and it happens to slip out of my hand while well, it just lays right there. The load gate doesn't kick it off into Neverland so I can press on. Let's check out some left-handed shooting. It went pretty smooth left-handed. Like I said, I really like this shotgun. Everything about it just is awesome. Well, let's end this video with a little scenario shoot. As you notice, I finally got my bayonet, complete with military cartouches. I want to give a special thank you to the viewer that helped me find this. Anyway, if you'd like to check out any more videos with this particular shotgun, click on the playlist right here. I'll have some other random video playlists right there. I'll also have affiliate links in the description down below if you'd like to help support the channel and my Patreon. I'll even have a link for this right here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.